Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and yes, I'm still sick. But I'm recovering nicely. So tonight, it's a simple pantry pool meal and dessert. Yesterday the power went out and I had been going to make spaghetti but I ended up making chicken soup on this on the silver fire stove instead. This is a package of fresh lean ground beef. I'm going to cut this in half. Half in the crock pot, half in the freezer for another meal. We've got our $1.40 jar of Catelli pasta sauce, um, a classical jar of just home canned tomatoes, mushrooms, onions, and peppers. And of course, we've got some peaches that we're gonna do something for dessert with. So first things first, I'm gonna take half of this hamburger and just drop it into the crock pot. I'm gonna put this in a bag in the freezer. We're gonna turn this on high. We're gonna, whoops, we're gonna add the rest of these peppers. Some of these are from my garden. Some are from a sale. We're going to put a nice handful of onions in there. And I'm going to use the bag from the peppers. No, we don't even need to rinse it out. Just going to use the bag from the peppers, fold it all up, and maybe one day next week I will make, I'll make a meatloaf. In go our mushrooms. We don't put the sauce in until the meat's cooked. Some garlic, a bay leaf, and some of my home garden Italian seasoning. Our crock is on high. We're gonna cover it, and we'll be back when it's time to put the sauce in. All right, let's have a look. Oh. Things are starting to cook. We'll break that meat up. And as soon as that meat is all browned, we'll add our salt. In the meantime, let's make dessert. Okay, now we're gonna make a peach upside down cake with the, these last uh, four peach halves. But first, I am buttering this really, really heavy because normally you would melt the butter, but we want this butter to kind of make a candy crust with the sugar. Now I'm gonna take some sugar and I'm just gonna coat all that butter. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And now I'm just gonna Sprinkle some cinnamon on there. Not a lot. Cinnamon accents peaches, but you don't want it to overpower it. Now, I'm gonna take these peaches out of the jar here. I'm gonna cut these up because there's only, there's only four of them. And you can save the syrup from your peaches to sweeten your tea. Or to make sweet tea with? You do you. Aren't you glad it's not bread pudding? <laughs> I'm going to... I guess I should have used a bigger bowl. I'm just going to slice these peaches. So that they can go farther around underneath the cake. Right? Put them all over the pan. See? Now, if you'd just plop four peaches halves down there, it wouldn't have gone as far. All right, let's get to making the cake. Okay. We're going to um, use about a third of a pound of butter. Because that's what I've got in the butter dish. <coughs> and about a half a cup of sugar. About a half a cup of sugar. Because we don't... We've put the sugar on the topping as well, right? Now let's get up the old KitchenAid mixer. Well, my beaters don't match, but they'll work. And now we're going to put in two eggs. 
or the equivalent. Here I have a cup and a half to two cups of flour and, and a teaspoon of baking powder. And I'm going to alternate mixing this in with a splash of milk now and again. I'm going to say approximately a cup of milk. But between drop and pancake. Like that. Sorry about the noisy mixer. We're just going to dump this batter right down the center of the pan. And then fill in. Sorry, I'm right handed. My husband is left handed and this is how the counters were built. You don't want to move it around too much. You want that sugar to, whoops, make it a mess, firing stuff all over the place. You don't want to move that sugar around. So you want a fairly pourable batter, but you want it nice and thick too. And then just kind of just the top. Don't stir it in. It's going into a 350 degree oven for 45 to 55 minutes. All right, the timer has gone off. Oh, and it smells so good. You can just dish this from the pan if you like. But while it's still hot, I'm just going to run a knife around here. And in the tradition of true upside down cake, I'm going to flip it over onto this foil lined tray. There we go. Oh, there it is. Beautiful, Clark. And then we'll simply wait for Howard to come home with some whipped cream or ice cream, whatever he decides he's buying. All right, our meat is nicely browned up. So let's get our Catelli sauce in here and our jar of home canned tomatoes in there. And then I'm gonna be sneaky. I'm gonna add some dehydrated spaghetti squash that's been ground to a powder. This will both add vegetable and thickness. Whoops. It's firing stuff all over the place today. This will add both vegetable and thickness to our sauce. I'm going to have to replace the handle on this again soon. And I think that's going to be a whole different ball game. Now, Look what I almost forgot I had. I went in the pantry looking for noodles. And yes, they're from my garden. We thought we were done with the garden, didn't we? It being November and all. These are going to go into the 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes and we'll check on them after that. I've gone ahead and cut up the cake and put it in a tub. Now let's have a look at now, I'm usually really bad at judging the doneness of spaghetti squash. But I think I nailed it this time. Usually it's too soft and watery. But this looks just about perfect, doesn't it? Look at that. Let's get some sauce on there. That. Much better this time. Not a lot of water in the squash. Parmesan cheese. Some pepper for Papa. And then we'll take this over to him and see what he has to say about that. Now this is a bit watery and I think it's more the sauce what? than the... Well, it's not noodles, Howie. It is a vegetable. Uh-oh, here she comes. What do you want? She, what she thinks is noodles. <laughs> it's not noodles. 
but it's very tasty and I like it. All right, we'll see you for dessert. You say you brought ice cream home. I did. Awesome. Ooh, what do, you, what do you got there? Some peach cake. Somebody thinks she's getting some. It was the last few peaches in the jar, so I thought I'd, you know, make like an upside mm. down cake or something. Awesome. You want some in your lunch tomorrow? Yes, please. There you go. It was a pantry pull meal, even though I'm sick. <laughs> Those are the best kind of meals. This is the Mrs. Volfi from our half acre homestead saying the last of the garden and a pantry pull dinner and dessert. Thank God for my pantry because I feel like crap still. Mwah! Take care. God bless. Yeah.